So um, moving on, um, what I wanted to, uh, to get into was how we uh, approach these things and um, a lot of it has to do with, with the mindset. So the, there's a characteristic way of thinking that is something that I addressed in, in um, Taiji Chuan through the Western Gate. And there is a, a dis, what I can call the Western Gate way of thinking. And that is that a, um, it's kind of influenced by science and philosophy as, as it's developed over the last couple hundred years, 300, 400 years in the West and uh, leading toward a scientific materialism where everything is seen as an expression of mechanics or materiality and how these atoms bash into those atoms and these muscles pull these bones, et cetera, which is a, uh, gives one way of looking at what we're doing, but it is um, uh, very limiting if you continue to look that way. And one of the qualities of this Western gate way of thinking is something called um, binary thinking. And this is often the case that you know, it's either or thinking. That is, it's either yes or it's no. You're either a Democrat or you're a Republican. Either it's black or it's white. It's a, the, uh, there is this either or thinking, binary thinking. There are just two values in that system. And you're one or you're the other. And this is something that is characteristic of a lot of Western thought. And uh, you're right or you're wrong. And so the, uh, in the, the Taoist way of thinking, there, it, it's more, there is some binary there, that is you establish polarities, but there, it's also a full spectrum thinking. That is that hot and cold are, not, are, are two poles, but they actually are both aspects of the same thing. They're, they're aspects of temperature. They're part of the same system by establishing them as, well, you're either hot or you're cold. No, you're actually, there's a gradual scale, a full spectrum there where you go from hot to cold. And it, a lot of what determines whether you're hot or you're cold is your relationship to the temperature. So there is the event. And you can say, oh, it is 68 degrees. And depending on what you're doing and what you're wearing, 68 degrees may be hot or may be cold to you, depending on what's going on. So that is uh, the way of thinking. It's, a, it's a, a full spectrum thinking. And so much of what we're doing employs that. Where you establish poles, we talk about yin and yang, where yang is expansiveness and yin is contraction. And some people think, oh, contraction is bad because then you're, you're getting all tight and you're getting, no, no, contraction is just the, the, the bellows, you're, you take in the air, then you push out the air. So the, you, know, you have the, the, this motion there and you can't do one without the other. So the, and in yin and yang, we have motion and stillness. We can, some people say, oh, well, stillness is the ideal. And others will say, no, stillness is death. And it's both. You can't have one without the other. Just as music, you, it's not just about a collection of notes. It's also about the silences between the notes where there is, there's space between the notes, which enables you to create a pattern, a sonic pattern that is interesting. If you have just a sustained sound, that's, uh, that gets kind of boring after a while. Uh, if you have sustained silence, that's kind of boring too. So you want to get, uh, you want to get both. So the same thing is, is, uh, is employed in this, uh, in the way we're talking here. That is we're, we're getting both, it's a both and way of thinking. 
and it's a full spectrum way of thinking so that we rather than just memorizing a bunch of things and going through a mechanical action that enables us to follow the leader say oh i do my tai chi just like i think my tai my teacher does okay that's that's nice but so what you know you maybe maybe that that's that's okay you know but it's not going to take you to the place where you can own it where you can do it and to do that we have to go inside and we have to explore the infinite variabilities in each passing moment so that we peel away the surfaces and we get inside and we find infinity in each moment and we by climbing inside we feel what's going on when we're just looking at it we're observers where that becomes objectified as something that is it's out there even if it's even if i'm looking at me and say oh rick is moving his arm in this way and that's really cool but it's uh that's rick observing rick doing arm movement and which is fine and say did i get it right i said no you didn't get it right because there's nothing there there's nothing inside animating that arm to do that you have to actually climb inside and engage the mechanism and bring your attention your intention your presence to the moment and it is that it is then that we activate the energy it's then that we bring shen or spirit to the event so you know two people can go through the exact same motion and to a casual observer it looks like they're doing the same ward off with left arm but this is empty and this is not and a trained eye will be able to, to make that distinction 